I am. It's so black around here. You can just see little twinkle lights and it's so quiet. You can almost hear the crickets. And there I am listening to hearing my heart going bang, bang. She's the top woman. She's beautiful and she's uh, overly made uh, makeup and dress and very much has yelling and screaming but she uses a sexy wonderful voice and drags you into you and then you, before you know it she's got you behind the ball there and she does everything she'll get you to do anything for her she's just one of the few beautiful people that are still very very sick but they know how to make you stay in the dark corners she loves it she won't leave she's beautiful she can do anything get out of it but all the people in the dark corners those are the people that's the puppets and people that she can maneuver and makes her the queen of the dark corners just because he sees a pretty girl outside that she's a hooker what do they want look at me who's that guy there Looking around here and it's very weird. There's that girl standing on stairs with the smoking and it's so dark. What does she can do in the dark here? She waiting for somebody? Certainly not me. It's a hundred stories. You can hear one story about in the dark corners and yet hear another hundred and they all sort of match. It's amazing that you say, oh, this couldn't happen to me. And yet, all the stories combined are all the same. Oh, that guy, that mug, he looks like Godfather. They don't trust even their best friend, and they don't trust a cop. And Calton is a cop and tries to help them, but they don't believe it. How could they believe him when they don't even believe their own friends? And it's very hard to explain. I mean, even right now, I'm hesitating because Calton was Calton, a very happy-go-lucky person that would give you a cigarette, a dollar or whatever, and slap you on the back and make you feel good, but yet they still don't trust him. What does Calton want? And Calton only really wants them to clean up and be happy, and, and he tries harder and harder, and some Calton wins, and a lot he doesn't, but he's still trying to clean up the dark corners. You never believe it. So much goes around. When you tell people, they don't believe it. I don't even believe it. It's a madhouse at night. It's 24 hours a day. It doesn't change. To me, I live it. It's my life. I try to get it along, but I'm still in the dark corners. And I still can't get out of it. And right now I am in trouble pretty girl that has a guy that sells dope. I'm just wondering what is else is happening here. And I hear people on the other end of the corner talking. It sort of makes me, jars me, like waking me up because I was wondering what they're talking about. And I heard this guy says, God, I need a joint. I need a hit. He says, oh, I don't know. I'll do anything, anything. I need a hit. He says, well, you ain't got any money, you know that. Well, how about Maria? I'll give you Maria. She'll do anything you want. You kidding. That's your daughter. I can't help it. Daughter knows it and she will do it for me. And the guy says, send her around and see how she is. Everything goes all right. I'll give you anything you want. Oh, look at that beautiful girl. And she got his hands around this dude. Why is all this happening? Why? The women that like these people in the dark corners because those guys that have the money. They're the guys that have all the connections. They can do everything because they got all the things for people that he could blackmail and all that. And the girls, well, they're like the prince and the kings. They're with somebody that can take care of them and give them everything because very few people at the dark corners have anything. The girls laugh at them and say, well, look, I've got everything. You've got nothing. 
creepy, it's so dark. I'm walking, I, I need some help. I, I gotta call the station. I can't handle this. I'm not made for this. Calton is, Calton, I'm not old. Oh boy, I'm afraid now. They look like two old muggers. In the dark corners, uh, they really accept Calton as a person, not only a cop, and they really feel down deeply that he's trying to help them, and he does. Kelton, he feels that they mean it, and they listen to them, and I think Kelton the cop has helped so many people. And here, it looks like a beautiful girl with a, a guy that he looks awful. And this couple, beautiful people, why are they around here? That's what I gotta find out. Why are they all these people? Good looking, beautiful, here in dark corners. All the hoods, and that's what the dark corners have. Hoods, men that would take anything from you will do murder and pin it on somebody else. He would take your wife away from you. He would do anything. That's the people in the dark corners. No, and here's an old man cut his hand over this young guy and I guess he's gonna strangle him. Here's that dope peddler looks like what I face. I've been afraid of him myself. Dark Corners is very what it's his. It's a, not a huge place. It's like a corner. I mean, everybody practically knows each other. And when people come in that they don't know, they're suspicious of everything. Dark Corners is a place that has no name. At Dark Corners is hard to move, get away. I mean, if you try to go to the next block that has lights, you may not even live. You'll probably be murdered. And the dark corners, you feel at home, and that's their home, and that's why they stay at the dark corners. And what is he doing to this girl? She looks like he's dancing, and she's bending over, grabbing her. I gotta go over there and pop him over the nose or something and let him leave her alone. Look at and these people are looking at me like, what am I doing here? Well, I'm beginning to feel that too. Why am I there? What am I doing? All I can see all this going on and I don't know whether what to do about it. These guys are outside. What are they doing? Wow, this looks like a big mafia guy. Heck is happening at the dark corners. Gee, I can't believe it. Seeing all these people all of a sudden, they're, they're, they're driving me crazy. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Just came up to me and just shook me and says, come with me. He had that big, beautiful car. And I says, I don't drive. He says, I'll drive. You just come along. And I said, no, what is this guy doing to me? Oh, look at this one, that's a beautiful figure. She looks like this. she can just grab you and eat you up. Oh, and this guy here when looks like he can eat you up. He looks so tough. And there's, uh, looks like the mafia, or boyfriends, or hookers, boyfriends. What am I doing outside here, waiting for him? He's not even coming. I wonder if he knows what house it is. It's so dark outside. Did I give him the right address? There I'm waiting, standing, ready to strangle him if he doesn't come around. Jeez, the dark corners. Oh, look at that. I've never seen it so dark and so many people here beating each other. Oh, that man slapped that girl that I thought that was his fiance, but no. What's that on the floor? He's lying down. Oh boy, he's using his thumbs on her throat. Why? She's so beautiful. Why is he trying to do that to her? I don't think Kelton uh, had these big mugs on top of him. Even the mugs and the big thugs and whatnot know Kelton and <laughs> because everybody likes him and they, after all, Kelton is a medium 
man uh, size, and um, I don't think Kelton has ever been mugged. And if uh, they did or anything, they might grab his arm and say, stop it, or something, but never overwhelm, uh, beat him up or anything, because he knows that Kelton is uh, on their side and not trying to do anything wrong with him. I gotta maybe make some calls. There's another woman there. She's standing in another building. I wonder if I should have to call in at the station to see what else is around here. It's so weird. There's another girl. What is going on? It's not a party. Where's my gun? Where's my gun? Oh, I gotta find my gun. Where's my gun? Oh, I dropped it on the on the ground. Oh, if I don't do it, well, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know whether to call in for help with all this going on. It is going to take a whole regiment. I missed what's going on. I'm getting afraid of myself. I wonder if I've got any bullets in my gun. I better stop and check it. Because of seeing all these things there, I might have to use my gun. And I don't know how to use it too well, too. And this one here looks like he's got an, uh, a gun to kill that guy. I don't even think they notice me. Maybe I should go in the lights and show them I'm a cop. <laughs> I am a cop, aren't I? And show them I'm there to do my job. Don't forget, they have no money. They, they sell each other out all the time. And they, they see a murder, and Calton comes up and asks him a question and whatnot. They might like Calton and tell him a lot of things all around the circle, but not a name, not anything. And here Calton's trying to help them, and they know that, but they know. And they says, hey, that's Bob who did it. Or Al, they know they wouldn't be alive the next day. They're just so afraid. They're afraid of themselves. They're afraid to go to sleep, so they dream, and they dream, and they wake up screaming. Oh, gee. Oh, she's so pretty. That's not the one that had the gun, I don't think. Where is she? This blonde. What's she got in her hand? Looks like she's going to stab this man. Boy, this corners tonight are really... Oh, this one has her hands up. I didn't pull a gun on her. Who? Why would she put her hands over her head like someone pulled a gun on her? Uh, certainly no other cops around. Ah, uh, here I am. In the dark corners. I am so tired and it's so dark and I'm so cold and I don't know what's happening. They know Calton and uh, because Calton comes around and during the day and bring him gum and candy and all that. Calton, I mean, uh, isn't a tough guy and he wasn't made as a tough guy. And they like him. And they give information to Kelton as much as they can without them getting killed. But give him enough that Kelton can help the others. Thank you.